Israel has launched one of its largest military operations inside the West Bank in years, and hundreds of Israeli troops have raided multiple cities, where nearly 3 million Palestinians have lived under Israeli rule. CBS's MTS Tayyip reports. Palestinian cities, towns, and refugee camps locked down and targeted in what Israel is calling a counterterrorism operation. Cell phone videos giving us a glimpse inside. According to local residents, there hasn't been an Israeli military raid in the occupied West Bank like this since the Second Intifada or uprising. At least 10 people have been killed so far, according to Palestinian health officials, including two of Masoud Naja's children, who were killed when their home was damaged in an explosion. My wife went to the rooftop, and that's where she found our children, he weeps. In the village of Beit Rima, young Palestinians gather stones and burn tires. Well, we're here in one of several villages in the Israeli-occupied West Bank, Palestinian villages where the situation is extremely tense following Israel's decision to launch what's being described as one of the largest operations it's conducted here in the West Bank in decades. It's in Beit Rima where we meet shopkeeper Osei El Amawi. The raids are ongoing, he says. People are terrified. Any house can be raided at any moment. And as the death toll continues to rise, the UN says since October 7th, more than 620 Palestinians have been killed in the West Bank and East Jerusalem alone. Impia's Times, CBS News, East Jerusalem.